2023 Specialized Tarmac SL7 in a size 54. It's weighing at 6.74 kilos and in pounds, 14 pounds, 14 ounces, pedals, cages, garment mounts, and all. Stay tuned to the video. We're here free up bias on those lightweight Obermeyers after the video. Full carbon fiber backed brake pads by Amp Organic for his Durace brake caliper as well. Insane. Talk about super lightweight. Hey everybody, GC Performance here back with another video. And today I have you guys an insanely light build here. This is the 2023 Specialized Tarmac SL7 with a custom build up with a brand new Durace 12 speed, lightweight Ober Obermeyer Schwartz black edition wheels, SRM power meter crank came with the 6.74 kilos with pedals, with bottle cage, with garment mounts. Everything is done to the T. The weight that you saw as a bike as is, everything on here is extremely, extremely light. The bike is absolutely beautiful. I had to show it to you guys and show you guys what you can still achieve with a disc brake bike. So the frame here, the reason why I was able to achieve such a lightweight um, weight was because of the fact that this is their Specialized Tarmac SL7 paint ready frame. So this is actually gonna be their lightest configuration of this frame because it is paint ready. Obviously they have the decals on there on top of it, but this is the lightest configuration of the paint you can get. It's just a raw carbon shown on there, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. And then everything else on the bike is to the full T. You have the Obermeyer Evo lightweight Schwartz black edition wheels. These wheels have these ceramic speed bearings inside of here. I mean, it's done to the T. We're still waiting on a couple bits and pieces here to make it a little bit lighter, um, like some axles, like some maybe different stem caps and stuff like that, changing out bolts and stuff like that later on down the road, but the bike is beautiful. So I'm gonna go over the whole bike, talk about the configuration, and then we'll go from there. So starting off with the cockpit on here, we have the Specialized Revolt Rapid Handlebar and the 700 by 42, I'm sorry, and the 42 centimeter handlebar. The bike does come with a stem. It comes with an S-Works Tarmac SL7 stem and a 100 millimeter length. And it does come with the included titanium hardware bolts in there. We could even achieve a lighter weight once we go down in some spacers and maybe even cut off some of the steer tube as well. That's later on down the road. The bike does come included with the out front mounts with the Garmin and also the light mount down here as well. Again, the weight we saw was 6.74 is with all this stuff on here. For the handlebar wrap, it is the Super Caz uh, Kush tape with the kind of oil slick Galaxy Star logo on here. And then for the group set on here, it is the Durace 9250 12 speed. This is a semi wireless group set. You have a 12 gears in the rear, two in the front. The shifters are wireless, but the actual uh, rear mech and the front mech are connected by DI2 wires to a battery inside of the seat post in there. I recommended a Dorimo seat post to the customer, but he wants to keep it as is. But, uh, you know, we could also make lighter weight on there as well. Uh, so for the wheels itself, again, these are a lightweight Obermeyer Evo wheels with the Schwartz Evo Black Edition. Benefit to that is that they're super lightweight, 48 millimeter depth wheel. The whole wheel is a one piece wheel where the spokes are carbon fiber to the rim. They're bonded together right here at this crossing point and then the, the whole hub is carbon fiber. The internals are here are ceramic sheet bearings. That is the benefit to the Schwartz edition. Um, but this is one of their top tier wheels that you can actually get for lightweight. Super lightweight. You see a lot of pros going for here. Actually, you'll see Chris Froome or Tim, Team Ineos still preferring to ride this, even though they are sponsored by other teams. Uh, they still prefer to ride this wheel because of the fact of how stiff it is and how uh, light it is as well during the, the tour. For a disc brake bike, you still can't get a beautiful wheel set. Uh, on here, we do have the, the XTR rotors and a 160 millimeter rotor. These are the lightest rotors out here. I know Shimano Durace just came out with a newer rotor that is more for road, but the XTR are actually still the lightest weight rotor configuration. We do have in here the Durace brake calipers. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, the customer did swap them out for a carbon fiber backing uh, amp disc brake pad on there. Um, very beautiful. I believe that the reason why is because of the fact that they are uh, a little bit better for stopping power. So that is a much needed. The tires on here are going to be the Grand Prix 5000 STRs in the tan wall. And then we have the Pirelli uh, TPU tube inside of there, the yellow tube that's super lightweight. I believe the tubes are only like 38 grams, 35 grams. Uh, that's definitely a way to achieve a lighter weight wheel on there. Tires, we can go a little bit lighter as well. We can go to a cotton tire on there, but the customer enjoys the look of this as well. But you can definitely achieve it even lighter. 
For the bottom bracket on here is a threaded bottom bracket, a ceramic seat BSA Shimano spindle bottom bracket. And then the crank that you guys can see on here is a SRM power meter crank. This thing is the top tier crank that they offer on here. You have the SRM power meter nine, the SRM crank arm. And with these crank arms, you're actually able to change out the uh, crank arm length to whatever you want. If you want a 170, 172.5 or 175, you have all the configurations you can do right behind here. So that way, if you're unsure of your fit, or maybe you want to mess around with your fit to try out different power configurations with a better cadence, you have all these options to do so. Obviously, the crank is very, very nice, so you want to make sure you get the right crank arm length on here as well. The customer even went as far as to adding a 3D printed uh, crank cover on top of here to go ahead and protect the beautiful crank itself, so that way there are no issues with it. For the pedals, we have on here the Look Keel Blade and the Carbon, and these are with the, uh, I believe, titanium? No, just ceramic bearings inside here but the carbon fiber blade on there as well. And then for the cage to achieve the lightweight on here, he also has a matching lightweight bottle cage. Just the one for down here, we have the s bottle cages here, 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 here. This is a Factor Carbon 12R bike. This is the lightest weight carbon that they make by Specialized. The lightest, the stiffest, the strongest, everything like that. The chain rings on here are going to be a carbon tie chain ring. It's a 5236 configuration. Again, super lightweight. You can pair this power meter with Durace chain rings, Altaker chain rings. You can pair however you want, really. But this is going to be the lightest configuration you can get with these chain rings on here. Uh, the chain is going to be a 12-speed SRAM. I'm sorry, 12-speed Shimano Durace chain with a 12-speed Shimano Durace cassette in the rear. I believe 1134. And then for the rear derailleur, it's going to be the Durace 9250 rear derailleur attached with the ceramic speed OSPW to make it very, very low friction. The, the, the bike, when you see it at the end of the video, when we do the free roll body sound test on here, the bike has little to no friction on there. It's super nice. And also he upgraded to the Sig, Sigue, Sigue uh, direct mount derailleur hanger, again, to bring the derailleur more away from there to allow less friction to go on there as well. And then for the rear wheel, it's the exact same as the front, the Obermeyer Evo uh, Schwartz edition, super, super nice. And then the same exact tire, 725 Sig, Grand Prix 5000 STR in the tan sidewall. Absolutely beautiful. And then for the rear rotor, it's going to be a Shimano 140 XTR rear rotor as well with the direct mount Durace 140 caliper. We can, like I mentioned before, you can change it out to a carbon tie through axles or a bunch of companies make a different lighter weight through axle on there. And then for the seat post, it's just a stock standard S-Works SL7 seat post. And then for the saddle, it's the Shimano Pro Stealth Team Edition saddle, carbon fiber body, carbon fiber rail, super nice with the rear Garmin radar light in the back. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this video. You can still achieve 6.8 kilos in the modern era for road bikes. You just have to do a little bit of digging and find out what works for you. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Here comes a free up bias sound test on these lightweight wheels over my Evo. Alright guys, it's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one.